Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to my review of the Epicurean, a speciality restaurant on board P&O's Ventura. Epicurean time, let's do this. Prior to travel restrictions being lifted, you were able to book a table at the Epicurean in advance of your cruise online or by calling P&O. Be aware, however, that currently you are only able to reserve a table once on board. I will talk you through surcharges for this speciality experience at the end of this video. Mum's very pleased with this already, aren't you? She's just going, oh, that's really nice. That's lovely, she's saying. So, as you can see, we've got uh, Prosecco. We've got, oh, an English sparkling wine. Look, uh, a bottle is quite reasonable. A glass of wine is certainly very reasonable. We've got different types of champagne on offer, if that floats your boat. Oh, and oh my goodness, there's a very extensive wine menu here. I'm not going to show you all of this because I'll be here forever. But just to get a sense as to the kind on offer and the prices. There you go. Alrighty, let's have a look at the menu. So here are your starters. Good choice. And the main courses. In addition to which, you've also got some prime grills. Oh, pork T-bone. And your side dishes as well. And the desserts. Now the crepe Suzette, I believe, are prepared table side, or they used to be. So uh, we might have to try those. So I don't actually think I've ever had an English sparkling wine. So very excited to try this one. Love the color of it. Nice and cold. Mm. It's actually quite subtle, quite crisp. It's really good. Big win. Cheers, family. Chin chin. Cheers. Here's to a lovely meal. All right, so we have an amuse bouche of. Uh, look at that, it's beautiful. Uh, it's a mushroom soup and it smells really rich, actually. It smells really good. Cheers. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> I might have a very big head, though. Mmm, that just feels like really fresh ingredients, really tasty, quite nice deep flavour to that, good texture, I like it. What's the verdict on the mushroom soup amuse-bouche? Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Like it? Yeah. So good good. flavour? Really nice. There you go. Mm. Oh, even little Christine's going for it, look. We like that. It is lovely. Yeah, mm. there you go. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Second one is the mustard seed green bread. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The third one is beetroot caraway. Beetroot, beetroot, beetroot caraway. caraway. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have two seeds, types huh? of butter here. This is unsalted butter. And the other one is marmite butter. Marmite, marmite butter. butter. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The Harvest brand is on the side as well. That's cool. Okay, so you can tell mm. that we're quite excited about the times of bread <laughs> and butter. Marmite butter, yes. Beetroot and caraway bread, that sounds really interesting. So this bread has got mustard seeds, a little bit of butter on top, not the Marmite one. Mm. It's a really nice soft bread actually. The mustard seeds quite subtle, just a little bit of kick in the back of your throat, like that. Beetroot and caraway seed bread. Ooh. Yeah, we're just trying to describe the taste of that. It's almost sort of pungent, but not in a bad way, if that makes any sense. It's quite fragrant in a way. Like it. And now, Hovis with some Marmite butter. Yes. Mmm. Oh my god, that Marmite butter is really good. That's really yeasty, salty on the bread. That works really well, like that. Here come the starters. Matthew has got um, slow cooked ox cheek and it's served in a bone canoe. So this is cream of celeriac soup with white truffle. Perfect, thank you. Okay, don't judge me for having soup. I love soup. I absolutely love soup. <laughs> Ooh. Like silky, smooth, a little bit creamy. The celeriac comes through really well. I've had celeriac soup before where you, it could just be like onion soup. Mm, really tasty, very good. 
this is the uh, very famous snow crab langoustine pea and chervil custard and it's served with a cucumber mojito who would have thought it thank you thank you, thank you so much marie's just working out what to do with this <laughs> do you dip those in yeah. oh yeah. here she goes Oh, that's nice. Is it chilled? It's chilled. Not overpowering. <clears throat> the general consensus, the soup is absolutely delicious. Uh, the celeriac crisps add a nice little sweetness. The um, ox cheek is just a little bit disappointing because there was a little bit too much fat in some of it. Um, I felt it just lacked a bit of flavour as well. The star of the show, I believe, is the crab and langoustine. We're very happy with that one, aren't we? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so here is the rack of lamb and slow cooked um, lamb belly. We've got some triple cooked fries, broccoli, new potatoes, and we have some spinach. Matthew has gone with the Irish beef filet. And this is the uh, pork T-bone with crackling and a scrumpy jus. Yeah, we'll Alright, lamb jus. I'm just gonna pour some around the outside. It smells divine. Oh, it is lovely. Nice. Yeah. Okay, everyone is very happy as you can hear. Is that the crackling you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. We're going crazy for crackling over here. Alright, let's try the lamb. Oh my god, I already know what I've made. Oh wow. I don't normally eat much lamb. It was so tasty. Oh, some interesting accompaniments as well, such as the caramelized aubergine. I think you need to try it all together. Cauliflower, believe it or not. Mm. Got a little bit of mint running through that as well. That's really good. Mm. Those triple cooked chips absolutely phenomenal and dipped in the um, lamb jus awesome I'm not leaving here now all right little Christine is tackling that pork and wow that is a beast isn't it uh oh needs a bit of seasoning oh, look at this little thing this is um black currant and white chocolate it's a palate cleanser it's frozen looks Gorgeous. Mm. Ooh, that could be a dessert in its own right. Oh, okay, Marie's going, oh. Well, <laughs> oh, the black currant's amazing. That's really good. That is going to cleanse my palate. <laughs> Holy macaroni. This is dessert. This is the, um, what's that? You get your fingers away from it. That is apple and juniper. Juniper berry crumble with an elderflower uh, ice cream. This is the lemon meringue pie. Look at that, it's absolutely awesome. Um, this is the chocolate cheesecake. We also have an apple ice cream or sorbet. Mm -hmm. This looks great. Mm -hmm. Marie's got the cheese, cheese board, and yeah. apart from yeah. your crackers, she's got a little bit of fruit cake. Look. Oh, look, it's all gone. By all accounts, every single dish on that slate was awesome. A little bit of coffee to nearly end the meal. I think we might have pretty foil coming as well. Holy macaroni. This is mint, oh. this is white and milk chocolate, this is milk chocolate, and this is white chocolate with raspberry. Okay. Oh, raspberry. Mint chocolate. Mint chocolate. Look at those. Maybe two mints. <laughs> <like more. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And there we have our experience at the Epicurean Envoy Pianoros Ventura. So let's talk about ka -ching. That is going to cost you £28 per person. Now obviously that is uh, classed as speciality dining, so it's not included in your cruise fare. And an even bigger question is, is it worth the money? Well, only you can decide that. I think £28 per person um, for food of that quality and volume, plus the environment, you would have noticed it's quite intimate there actually, uh, quite private. Uh, we really did quite appreciate that tonight actually, after quite a busy night last night. 
uh, in the main dining room. So uh, for us, it definitely was worth the money. And also the service, I must say, the crew were absolutely fantastic, very attentive, very professional, friendly, great work all around. Now, you might remember from earlier, I said that halfway through a one week cruise, the menu rotates. So here's a look at menu B. The Epicurean is not exclusive to Ventura. You'll also find this restaurant on Azura, Britannia, Iona and Arvia. As always, I'd love to hear from you, so please do drop your comments below. Have you already eaten at the Epicurean? And if so, what was your experience like? Or maybe this is a restaurant you'd like to try in future, but can you stomach the £28 per person? As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs>